What is up, Diecast family, and welcome back to my podcast. Today, we are going to be honoring um, a life that was lost yesterday, Ken Block. Um, I think <clears throat> I think a lot of us car people are extremely upset about it. it. You can't go anywhere on the internet without seeing it, and without seeing... Uh, the shock of of this suddenly happening in a snowmobile accident. So I figured today, um, take some time out of my day, um, write some things down. Um, let's just celebrate the life of Ken Block and you know what what he meant to a lot of us. You know, because I think a lot of us um, really looked up to him, I know I did, and um, the guy was a living legend and a hero. Um, he just was that cool dude, chill, laid back, super nice, would talk, you know, talk to anybody, you'd probably catch him just chilling somewhere and just have a, a great conversation with him. He just wasn't that regular celebrity person that was up on some high horse he was the people's like he was the racing people's man like that's who he was you know so i think we all took something away from from his career from his drive from his um perfectionism if you guys i'm sure any any car person has seen jim Connor and the amazingness of that video and I remember I think watching that whole thing with with Derek um, on his die cast and uh, just watching it over and over again and just being an amazement of of how much of a crazy person he was just no fear I think I think everybody has fear I mean it seemed like he didn't have fear but of course you know he did have some fear, you know, I just, I want to, he, he wasn't a, Kim Block wasn't a, he wasn't a theologian, he wasn't a scientist, he wasn't a politician, he wasn't uh, an actor, but he was a race car driver, he was a kind soul, he was a perfectionist, he was a husband and a father, and uh, I'll leave you with one, uh, I'm not going to leave, I'm not going to leave yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to give you a quote of his that uh, is really nice it's it's okay to be scared being scared means you're doing you're about to do something really really brave and I think that's something great to take away from him because I, a lot of people don't see the fear in him because he would just go out and do stuff and he'd do it and do it again until he got it perfect you know but if there's something we can take away from from his passing from you know leaving this earth is that uh, I think his advice for everyone out there is to go after your passion you know go do what you want to do what you've always wanted to do and stop holding back um, I think he didn't start racing rally until he was 37 years old I'm 38 it's crazy to think about just getting into rally and start getting the car and taking, gosh, I think he took seventh place and then fifth place in his, uh, his cat in group N class is what I read. So it's not too late to go out and do what you want to do to, to quit your job and start something else or, or what's your dream. You know, I think that's a great thing to take away from to honor a person like Ken Block and his life um, because we lost an absolute legend um, it's just it's it's really really sad I think everyone out there is, is really shook by it you know so it's really it's really a hard thing so I just wanted to take 
a moment today, not a real long podcast or anything, but I just wanted to take a moment to talk about Ken Block and his life and to um, encourage you guys to pray for his family and his friends. Uh, I can't imagine, I can't fathom what kind of pain uh, and grief they're going through right now. So... It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty rough. I think we're all pretty upset about it. So for his family, you know, I'll read off a Bible verse for them. Is Matthew five four? Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. So I can, I can know that we can pray for his family; they will be comforted. Um, it's it's not going to be easy for his daughter to go on. Uh, without him, you know, being a, a, a 16 year old, I think, and just have completed building an Audi, and I'm sure she wanted to go, you know, racing with her dad, and she can't now. So I just encourage everyone to take a moment out of their day and and just and pray uh, for his family and and his friends, his close friends. And everyone that he that he knew. I mean, to pray for the people that didn't know him. I mean, it, it really affected a lot of people. You you just you hear the stories, and he encouraged so many people to start uh, start racing, start doing whatever. A lot of it automotive related, of course, because he's just a, a gearhead. You know, had racing fuel in his blood. You could see that. It's just, it's a really, it's a really sad day for all of us. Uh, I just read a, a note about his wife, um, Lucy. They met in 2005. She was a major rally enthusiast. He gifted her a 74 Bronco, modified and fully restored, along with a Ford Fiesta R2, also fully restored. So, yeah, I just go out there and... And uh, just go after your dreams and don't take, this is a reminder, don't ever take your family for granted. Your family, your best friends, arguments that you're having over dumb stuff usually. You never know um, if you're going to see them again when, you know, when they leave, when they go to the store, when they go to school, when they, your kids, your family, you'd you'd never know. He was just going snowmobiling and he was going to be home later that day and they had everything planned. They had whole years planned out. And I think he planned on living a, a long life. I read some quotes about he wouldn't hang it up until he couldn't race anymore. So that's how passionate he was about it. And uh, it's uh, it's really unfortunate that he couldn't grow old. But um, God has a plan for everyone, and He knows He knows when our time's up. So I wanted to read uh, another Bible verse for you guys um, for Ken. This verse is 1 Corinthians 15, 55 through 58. Death, where is your victory? Death, where is your pain? Death, power, death's power to hurt is sin. And the power of sin is the law. But we thank God. He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So my dear brothers and sisters, stand strong. Do not let anything move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that the work of the Lord is never wasted. And another version of that is, oh death, where is your sting? Um, because for people such as myself and, and, you know, billions of other people on this earth, this is just a portion of my life when I leave this earth, um... There's no sting. There's no 
there's no pain, there's no suffering. So we can take um, refuge and to know that the Ken Block doesn't have any hurt, any pain, any sting, and that he's free from grief and struggle and pain, even wealthy, successful people have. So I'd just take, like to take a moment here today of silence uh, for Ken Block and just hang out with me for a second and I'm just going to give, give him a moment of silence for, for respect. The last thing I'll leave you guys with today is just uh, um, I found an interview with him and just goes to show how much he loves cars and how much he loved racing but uh, somebody asked him is Terracana a result of Jim Connor being hugely successful and need to branch off? Kid Block says well I gotta take these race cars out of race situations and have fun with them. I grew up skateboarding and snowboarding, riding bikes, riding dirt bikes most of the time I was just doing I was just doing this. I wasn't competing. But it's the opposite with race cars. These videos let me go out and have fun with rally type cars, and I'm not so concerned with trying to win a race. For me, it's just about getting to go out and play with these amazing toys. So I just encourage everyone to go out and to to race, to have fun, to be careful. Um you never know, you know, if you put yourself in, in dangerous situations, there's, there are consequences, you know, so, for myself, I don't, I don't do the things I used to do, um, because I don't trust myself on like a street bike or something like that, I just, I got the need for speed, so, um, I just encourage everyone to be out, you know, to be careful out there. Uh, whatever you do, I mean, like I said, you never know when it's when it's your time, and and uh, live life to the fullest every day because you know you never know. So yeah, we lost a hero yesterday, and I just wanted to take some time today to 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 honor him and talk about him, and I encourage you guys to leave comments. In the comments below on on your favorite thing about Ken Block, um, how he inspired you, how he has inspired you. Um, drop some facts about him so that we can all learn, you know, what he did. I think a lot of us know a lot of things, but you forget. So shoot us those facts on some incredible things that he did in the comments below, and. I encourage you guys to, again, to pray for his family and friends because I know that they must be absolutely destroyed right now. I mean, if people that never met him or knew him are crying, you know, then you, I, can, I can't even imagine. So just encourage you guys to, to pray today. And um, just to reflect on your own life and, and what what you haven't done in your life that you want to do. There's nothing holding you back. Like I said, Ken Block started in rally driving at 37 years old and went on to do some amazing things. And his life was cut too short, but he lived a full life. So there's no doubt about that. So God bless you all. Thank you for listening, tuning in. And uh, I will see you in the next podcast.